Well, welcome back, Foxy. everybody. You can see we are feeling the love on this Valentine's Day, and we hope you are too. We so appreciate you spending your Valentine's Day with us. And it looks like things are going well. We have a blind date going on. First ever for us here on Live at 5 at 4. We'll check in with our lucky couple coming up in a moment and hear more from Brian Clay, his sweet jazz sounds. But of course, we've got Miss Dina in to make up the perfect recipe for Valentine's Day. And these are these little parfaits? What? Well, they're actually called pots de creme, and it's a French dessert. Pots de creme. What Which is it? Which means pots of cream or pots of custard. And it's actually, you make it on the stove. Okay. And I thought maybe while I talk about it, you may start. it's one of those things where you got to continue okay. to stir to make sure that it doesn't stick. Uh, but it's wonderful for Valentine's Day. This recipe I'm giving you today, you can make four of these lovely like martini glass sizes, mm -hmm. but it will actually make 20 of these. That's and these are so wonderful cute. for parties where you may have other desserts available. And we did this at Christmas and it was a real hit. And I mean, it's just wonderful for Valentine's Day. Okay. Who doesn't like chocolate? And a little treat from Perry. A little yes. romance. Okay, get we started. How do, how do we make this? Okay, this pudding is made with two cups of heavy whipping cream. I've put in an eighth of a teaspoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I was going to say, yes. <laughs> that's a lot I'm of sugar. I'm sorry I'm running around today. It's We're going to need more sugar. And four tablespoons of sugar, okay. which I've already got in there, and then three egg yolks. Okay. And so, actually, that's been cooking for a few minutes, and look, if it coats the back of the spoon, it's ready. which it does, it's good. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And you're going to use six ounces of dark chocolate. Mm. Now, I'm using Ghirardelli, mm -hmm, bittersweet. My favorite. So, that's why I put the... Uh, chocolate in, okay. I mean the sugar in, but if you use semi-sweet, I don't even add the sugar, but because I use the Ghirardelli bitters okay. Bittersweet, I'm going to go ahead and put that I in. I love these. I keep them in my fridge for a little yeah. snack. And actually, just to make it okay. smooth, I go ahead and use a mixer here. And see, it's already warm. And it melts quickly it emits, because melts of the warmth. melts quickly. You probably only need to mix it just a couple of minutes, and it will make a smooth custard and then once it's cooled slightly you're going to pour it in whatever your serving pieces are uh, wine glasses mm -hmm. martini glasses and then you can get these little shot glasses like i got those at kroger with those matching spoons adorable <laughs> and what we uh, garnished it with today is actually real whipped cream and to get that i did a cup of heavy whipping cream four tablespoons of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla and you have to whip it a good bit okay. for it to, to stand up like this. As but. you can see, Miss Dina is very creative, very talented. She served up pop de cream today at Lulu's Tea Room located in Powell. And we really appreciate you coming on. We've got these two for our guests today. For our guests. We're going to have a little dessert in a moment. But 